Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant. We're back to continue our playthrough of Pillars of Eternity with the Triple Crown difficulty settings. In the previous episode we started exploring the Flames That Whisper Lower Cavern and I think we just killed some fish people over here and I left this secret item here as a cliffhanger. So <laughs> let's hope it was worth it and it will be a nice thing. Okay. It's looking promising. A Wayfarer's Hide. It's superb. Damage reduction 11, not bad. Recovery speed, not bad either. 25 defense against hobbled, stuck and paralyzed, also not bad. And grants nature's vigor. Oh, so just a, an AOE um, overtime heal. It's very short radius. It's not a terrible item. A famed Dwarven explorer, Catherine, uh, Catherine exemplified their people, people's reputation for wanderlust. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Undertaking journeys spanning nations on both sides of the Great Eastern Ocean. To aid her in her expeditions, she commissioned a set of hide armor, which would allow her to cross treacherous terrain without hindrance. Inspired by her stories, the armorer enchanted the hide to grant the wearer uncommon stamina. The sight of Catherine running along unscathed through a field of thorny brambles became a common one. It is said that Catherine's fame and experience was such that she was asked to accompany the expedition which would ultimately result in the founding of Durgan's battery. Whatever the truth of the matter, no further records of her exploits exist. Okay, interesting. I don't really see myself using this once per rest nature's vigor. Uh, but I kind of want to compare to what my people have. Uh, they have recovery speed 20, athletic, oh, the relative active motion, so no, never mind. Although, she doesn't, uh, it's still good. Man, why is it so hard to let go of this Angios Gambeson? <laughs> hmm. I think I'll still just... I'll just I'll just keep this one in the stash for now or with the grieving mother. Hey. And then we'll see. Okay, so where are we going? We are exploring this lake region. And I think there's more fish people here. For some reason my brain remembers very vividly <laughs> the positions of the fish people. Because screw them, right? Okay, so okay. you go investigate. You guys can move a little bit forward. Okay, the question is, are you alone? Hey. He actually seems to be alone. Uh, he's prone for five seconds. Let's just blast him. How is he alone? That's very strange. That is very strange. We're gonna take this, we're gonna loot this dead ogre. A potion of Eldritch aim. Oh. Anything secret over... Oh, I'm guessing this is from the, the, um, the pit above. Trollhide belt, plus one endurance per three seconds. Eh. This belt has been crafted from the mossy hide of a forest troll, with intertwined vines and leaves forming a solid and resistant piece of clothing. Any damage done to the belt tends to be obscured by new growth, for the moss and small plants which grow upon the belt retain some life. Though the resulting effect is somewhat like wearing a herb, <laughs> an herb garden around one's waist, and the piece of hide holds some of the troll's power, granting the wearer the creature's ability to recover from wounds. Now, somebody help me here. Is this right? An herb? An herb? An herb. A herb. An herb, a herb. Hmm. An animal. Sorry, just existential crisis here. Okay. Uh, an icy shaft leads up into the darkness. The walls of the shaft are slick and handholds are few. There is no way to climb up from down here. Yeah, this is guaranteed the, the pit that was above. So we would end up here instead of ending up over here. More fish, people. And I think that's a way that we can... Oh god. That we can... Mm, <laughs> that we can traverse this cave 
without actually um, fighting ogres and only fighting the fish people. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing at least. Okay, let's see if you can knock this guy down quickly. What? Okay, he has a friend. Uh, you're actually gonna sap this one. And we're just gonna start buffing over here. Uh, you can also buff and then shoot. Okay, I think it's only two enemies. So we should be okay. Disintegrate. How may I help? Let's sap him again for extra damage. Cool. Okay. My thoughts will be as silent as I have my yeah, my penetrating shot on. That's a red fin. Some ingredients. Hmm. He. I was gonna say he should be alone because if this area is empty, then there shouldn't be any more anyone else over here. Uh, let's see if that's the case. We're gonna knock you down. We're gonna sap you. You're gonna shoot. You're gonna buff and shoot, and you're gonna go, and you will buff and buff. <laughs> And I think he's alone. He's still paralyzed Kana, god damn it. These guys are amazing at paralyzation. I think they have also very, very high accuracy. A lot of fish. Camping supplies, cool. We don't need them yet. Um, oh, so the only area left for me to explore is this one. Where we cleared out these... Did I clear the trap? I think I cleared both these traps. I'm pretty sure, but shh. We're still gonna move carefully. Yeah. Yeah, I cleared them out. Ice blights. This isn't much of a choke point, but at least it's it's a common entrance area. Uh, let me check something here. I think they are immune to crushing, right? Crush immune, freeze immune. Okay, makes sense. There's a bunch of them. Let's wait for them to come over here. And while we buff. Yes. Okay. okay. Kidap can start tanking. Let's turn this on. You can start shooting. Uh, you're going to focus on the great or the greater uh, ice blights. Uh, you can also stay ranged. There's no real need for you to go in melee here, I don't think. Okay, everybody has a job. Once you're done buffing, you're gonna debuff. We have 100 focus points, which means, you know what it means. Amplified wave. Uh, you should be shooting there. All oh, right. It the Amplified Wave deals crushing damage, so not the best choice of spell there. Let's get some extra accuracy. And you can shoot with your wand, actually. Okay, good. Good. Greater one, focus on that one. Uh, you should be shooting. You should be shooting. Awesome. What is this? Yep. Okay, very simple. All right then. These enemies Keep don't an even out. hold a candle to the the fish people. The Sahuagin from Bulger's Gate. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of curious. This goes up. Did I pick up a key for the door upstairs is what I'm wondering. Oh, there's so many keys. Other key, old cop. Yeah, there's, there's no way for me to distinguish. I wish... <coughs> just a, a tiny rant time. I wish that games... Where, where do you have a key for a single door? Once the door is open, just, just consume the key. I know it's not realistic, but what the hell do I want all these keys in my inventory for? It just okay. adds confusion. I'm wondering if this is going to lead to the, 
the Ogre Matron. Because it's in the same area as the locked door from before. Yep, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> so yeah, this door requires a key. We are now in this crying chamber. They aren't hostile. But I'm still gonna act as if they could be. So let's be careful here. And what do they have? They have one, two, three crag ogres, three chanters, and one cannoneer. So eh, all of these are kind of whatever, honestly. This one, if she's a druid, it could be more dangerous, but let, let, let's see what we have. Of course. Please be voiced. Fish. Sweat. Sulfur. Nice. I, I, I love the... Um, I love voices for certain races like ogres and orcs and stuff. Especially like Warhammer 40k orcs. <laughs> Sorry if I'm going off topic. The Ogre Matron sniffs at the air, her nostrils as wide and dark as two pistol barrels. Beware, her temper burns hot within her. You approach the flames that whisper clan with the stink of stalwart heavy upon you. You fill our halls with dreams of battle and bloodshed. Yeah. Maybe I should have gone stealthily around instead of killing all of the ogres as well. Let's let's see how this plays out. A feral grimace parts the matron's teeth. Yet, even while her fingers clamp into fists, she, she watches you carefully. Hmm, <laughs> this is interesting. If I was deceitful, try to turn them against each other. I came to talk on behalf of Stalwart. I'm just trying to protect the village. Let's go the diplomatic route. <laughs> What right have cowards and agitators to protection? The villagers spy on our camps and spoil our hunts. They pick us off only to retreat behind their walls. Cold fury rumbles in her voice. Like a crack in the ice, they spread deeper into our lands with each waning moon. But we'll answer them blow for blow. She punctuates her words by ramming one meaty fist into another. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean... It's also understandable, they're just trying to live and humans keep overpopulating the areas and overextending. But at the same time, I have to stick with my own, right? It's complicated. Your ogres broke through the town stockade, so the villagers seek the White Forge, they're not after you. Let's go with this one. The villagers seek the White Forge, they're not after you. Yet they come with weapons in hand and mark their passage with the blood of my kind. Wiry black hairs bristle along her arms and neck. And their strength fails, so they send you to carve a path through the fallen heap. A shiver runs through her thick flesh. Hmm. Durgan's battery unsettles you. Of course it does! Her hot breath hisses between bare teeth. The other ogres growl and glare at you. I think you have their attention, Cordant. It's the diseased carcass of a ruined civilization. It festers with restless spirits and rotten magics. I see. <sighs> she roars and clutches at her head with wide, long-fingered hands. Dreams. Hailstones falling like cannonballs from the ramparts. A frozen gale screeching through the tower door. Her nails plow trenches through her ropey hair and raise a spot of crimson from her scalp. Finally, her growls subside and her breathing slows. She looks back at you with bloodshot eyes. My dreams drove me to found this clan. Now my dreams tell me that Starworld's ambition will destroy us. Hmm. Okay, uh, there's a lot of options here. So, Stalwart's barely surviving. The last thing they want is further trouble with you or anyone else. Dreams often communicate something of the truth. This isn't about you. Stalwart wants Durgan's battery for trade. I don't place much stock in dreams. Perhaps Stalwart means to drive you out with the weapons of Durgan's battery. Let's not say this, even though it's probably true. 
I'm gonna go with this one. Kind of make them look a little bit weak. But if they go on the offensive, we can still protect them. So yeah, stalwarts barely surviving. The last thing they want is further trouble with you or anyone else. Mm. The dreams show me a heap of rubble atop their village. Yet why would they send you? She slits her eyes, scraping her leathery neck with plate-thick fingernails. I heard another adventuring company, members of the Leaden Key, cross your path. I'm looking for anything they might have found. I came of my own accord. I wish to discover the battery secrets of myself. Na na na. Hmm. Well, let's see if she has something to say about the Leaden Key. I heard another adventuring company, members of the Leaden Key, cross your path. I'm looking for anything they might have found. The night winds whispered this name to me. They found us clubs and cannons ready. As for what we found on them. She sighs. Heavy plumes gust from her nostrils. I have more trust in you than those villagers. Or the next pack of fools they call here. Okay, it seems we're off to a good start here. She scratches her head and the rough sound is like the scraping of an iron file. High praise indeed. I'll give you my blessing. And the remains of the last clods that passed through. Perhaps they found something of value to you. Hmm. But... You must keep stalwart from harassing us further. She raises one thick brow to regard you. Agreed. If stalwart disrespects a treaty, I can also just hurt them. Then take the bounty of your oh, foolish God. predecessors. May it serve you better. Her lip twist, twitches. One of the ogres standing near Beragan mutters something in her ear. So we've gained a bunch of stuff. Leaden Key Expedition Journal, a Woodica hood. Leaden key robes, two potions of major endurance, six speckleback jerky added to inventory, and a lot of experience. You shall have the peace of flames that whisper. Though I wish you hadn't left so many dead in our caves. I'm sorry. Had I known there was a peaceful way about it, I don't know if I would have taken it. <laughs> but I could probably just go stealthily and not kill any ogres. I hope your skills are as fine as your words. It is rare that a matron betrays her dreams. Okay, so I think we were successful in, you know, diffusing the situation here. I want that. What is it? How the hell can I get there, though? As you wish. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Keep an eye out. Oh. Major adventure added. Let me just look for my... Oh my god, why am I using my stealth boots? <sighs> Whatever. Man. Get in stealth. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. I think I can go there. Go, 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 go. Go, I'll tiny mustache man. Go, tiny mustache man. It's go, finished. go. Yes. Okay, so we have a ruby. We have a sapphire. We have... Ooh, what's this? Scroll of Valor. Plus 15 accuracy on everybody in 5 meter radius. That's not bad at all. And we also have a scroll of missile barrage. 8 lore. Wait, so it shoots out 9 projectiles. It, they deal 9 to 13 slash or crushing, whichever is best, with 3 damage reduction bypass. And a strong interrupt. This dusty scrolls is pile. Uh, okay. Now for the interesting things here Belt of Bountiful Healing. Plus 25% healing received. While these belts provide no direct influence upon the injuries or fatigue of their wearers, the enchantments do lend additional power to those spells of mending and recuperation which strike it. Okay. Not really sure if anybody is going to be using it, but... Oh, baby. Archer's gloves plus 10% range damage. Gloves, gauntlets and bracers offer a variety of benefits. While some grant protection in combat, many have magical properties and empower the wearer in other ways. Oh, dude. Now I don't know how this works. And why do I say this? Because currently I have this, right? Plus 0.1 to crit damage multiplier. So, this effectively is a 10% increase on the multiplier of the critical damage. 
while these are just a flat plus 10% range damage bonus. I'm not sure which is best. I'm gonna try and swap them and see if I notice a difference, honestly. And let's get the, the sneak attack boots here. I can take out the oil. So this belt, now you have the, the blunting bell, you have crit damage taken reduced. You pretty much never take critical hits. But if you do, you would take less damage. Hmm. So we have a Wodika hood and we have leaden key robes. We also have their journal. This leather bound journal is embossed with the image of a key. Oh, and there is a tiny key over there. Most of the pages are filled with rust brown stains or writing too small to read, but you're able to decipher a passage near the end of the journal. Couldn't detect how the front door opens, even after she pried the iron tile from the relief. The more I consider it, the surer I am that the old villain was right. We'll have to dispose of him, but we can't afford to act until we've destroyed the White Forge. Even his meager knowledge was a revelation to us. They want to destroy the White Forge. And if he's right, we've got to, we've got to hope that the Kantek he speaks of was written down somewhere. We've decided to strike camp and search the area for books, records, something. Anything is better than sitting in the middle of this blizzard. Okay. <clears throat> Interested to see if that advances something. What? Hey. And I'm also guessing that they opened the door. Yes, they did. Can I talk to you again? You may wander our camp freely. Okay. Not much to say. Okay, well, I think we have concluded this initial area of Russetwood. Oh, the major adventure, nearly forgot. Let me see here. Come on, loading. Okay, so Zahua is assigned to this, and the major adventure, I'm gonna assign the Barbarian, because why not? Hey. Let them do something to prove their worth. Thoughts will be as silent as my feet. So yeah, Russet Wood has been completely explored. And as such, I think we're gonna go somewhere else. Uh, we can go to Long Watch Falls or we can... Well, I guess we can only go to Long Watch Falls. Interesting, I cannot go to Durgan's Battery, really. Is it just because I haven't gone this way first? Maybe. Hmm. It still makes more sense to probably go to the other side before Durgan's battery. Yeah, okay, so now I can go there. Uh, I think Long Watch Falls have some very extremely dangerous things that I'm kind of scared of. But there's probably dangerous stuff over here as well. Um, let me just go scout out this area. Because I think there's something over here that I want. And it's something that probably would have been a lot more powerful had I come to White March a lot sooner. So like for example, oh crap. I shall be quiet as a calm So like during act two Which or something. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. I pressed the wrong button. <sighs> There's no choke point. There's a bunch of lago feth. Okay, you know what, man? I'm, I'm not gonna play around with this. Let's get a prayer against imprisonment. So nobody gets paralyzed here. You buff up. You shoot him in the face. You shoot him in the face. Uh, you guys just... You can actually shoot as well. You stand over here. Okay, so he is protected. Against uh, paralyzation. Let's try and knock this guy down. And we're gonna buff with Mr. Durans here. And you can see the difference, right? <laughs> Of me being scared of these enemies. Yeah. So this guy is going to be taken care of. 
Uh, I'm gonna keep my saps for something that looks more dangerous. Okay, so these guys are gonna toss out their blow darts, which I am protected against. So don't care about that. These are tossing out corrode damage on top of it there. I also don't care about that. Okay. So yeah, it hits and grazes with the, the, um, the paralyzation, but it does not work because he's immune. Blogan misses. Okay, I think we're fine. So all these enemies over here, I'm gonna cast a chill fog in this. Dude, are you so far away, really? I want to chill fog here. Yes. We have a lot of focus points from the grieving mother. Okay, this one just melted. Let's tank the next one. Shoot. Uh, you're gonna try and sap that. I don't want that to come on top of my characters. And you... I still want him to come a little bit closer for the Amplified Wave, and this range should be fine. Okay, he's stunned with the sap. We have 145 focus points. Nice. Let's toss out some books. We're gonna have Kana go into melee because these guys are getting very, very close. Okay, let's debuff them and then get some AoE. You are taking a long time to cast that woman. Uh, lady. Why is she taking so long? Oh, finally. Okay, kill that. Toss out another one, because I have two. Blam, bitch. Okay, shoot, shoot that. Bring them down. And done. Okay, so let me see. I critted for 86 pierce damage. Of course. I want to try and keep track of, of my critical hits and see which gloves are the best gloves. Ooh. Ooh, chicken. I'll take the chicken. Okay, so the chill fog has just dissipated. This looks like a leg. It is a leg. It had an exceptional stiletto. I'll see it done. I like locked chest. It's finished. Fine, fine, fine. <clears throat> okay. We're gonna take it all. Okay, so we're looting dead bodies over here. Suppress affliction, good. I will keep that one close at hand. A lot of food supplies. I'm guessing this was maybe a caravan. Oh crap! I see Where there's a pick, there's a way. Maybe a caravan. Oh, difficulty one. <laughs> Headed to stalwart and the fish people. Oh. <clears throat> and the fish people intercepted it. Nine deflection. Hmm. This could replace a ring slot, which could be interesting. And over here we have Spell Tongue. I love the name. It's a rapier. I love the, the type of weapon. Inflict Steel. Five seconds... <laughs> from each beneficial effect on the target. Steal 15% of attack speed for 10 seconds on hit. This is very good. This is very good. Grants the Corrosive Siphon. It's kind of okay. No enchantment, man. They really want you to spend your materials upgrading these weapons. But this is very cool. It's kind of a shame I don't have anybody to use it. I mean, Kana could use it, but eh, I prefer the one I have, I think. Spell Tank was first forged in Nawatai as a dueling weapon, and it has changed hands dozens of times since then. Its fourth tip, undulating blade and blue coloration make, made it a quick favorite among novices, whose confidence often outpaced their skill. It was most recently won by Matapa, a young woman from one of the wealthy Omawa families of Tongira. With the blade in hand, she declared to her parents that she would take Spell Tongue and seek her fortune in Takoa as a duelist. Her parents attempted to dissuade her, but her resolve became clear, and they eventually offered their reluctant congratulations and threw a great feast in her honor. 
After Matapa had drunk her fill of wine and gorged herself on buttered lobster <laughs> and sea snails and cream, her mother challenged her to a duel. Oh god. Matapa laughed, but her mother promised her that, if she won, she would receive half of her family's fortune the next morning. If she lost, she would surrender spell tongue without complaint. Matapa regarded her mother, a petite woman, by Omawa standards, with little combat experience. She accepted and the duel began. Matapa brandishing spell tongue and her mother armed with a wooden practice sword. Matapa's mother was nimble and Matapa's trusts and reposts were quick but sloppy. Her mother led her around the feast table and into the darkened courtyard, where Matapa tripped. Falling, Matapa ran spell tongue through her mother's thigh even as the older woman held her wooden sword to the young, younger woman's neck. The onlookers declared the duel a tie and Matapa received her inheritance at the cost of her prized sword. Matapas' parents quietly sold the blade to a merchant bound for Dirwood, and Matapa, sobered by her loss, abandoned her ambitions as a duelist and instead became a successful playwright. Okay, I think it worked out well for Matapa. Really cool weapon. It's a shame that it can't really compare here. Plus one enemy engaged for off-tanking purposes, the freeze damage, it's already superb. Yeah, there's there's just no there's just no excusing using that weapon at this point. Oh, Eustace's device points directly at the cavern entrance. Okay. Where there's a pick, there's a way. It's finished. Man, nice jewels, man. Hmm. My spider senses are tingling. Hmm. How may I help? My 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 spider senses are tingling. Hmm? Following your lead. Okay. I don't think there's gonna be a disaster here. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be a disaster, but. If it is, I have all of my summons, I have all of my spells, and I'm quite healthy. Oh, it's not oh, the right place there. I thought it was. But disaster can ensue over here, because there's fish people. And fish people can ruin my life. Okay. Hey. So we have a really tiny choke point over here. If they stream in over this section and not around, I think we're going to be fine. Following your lead. In any case, I'm going to put Kana closer to this side. And you guys can move a little bit closer. Okay. And we are going to pull. Pull! Pew! Slow this down. Swap. Hold. Hold! Hold! <laughs> Buff. Uh, you stay where you are. You... I might want to buff us with protection... Uh, prayer against restraint, so... Yep, I do. I do want it. So, give me the prayer. Uh, you shoot this guy. You shoot this guy. Uh, for now, just shoot this guy. And you turn this on. Okay, we are protected. There's a lot of people coming in, but look, look at the blow dart. It's not gonna work, bitch. <laughs> okay, let's buff us up. Man, we are very clumped up. If they start coming around, I hope Kana can handle it. Okay, so Aloth has buffed himself up. We're gonna go for a chill fog in a very good place for us. It seems like they're all coming the, the perfect way. Let's hope it remains that way. Do I want to do something here uh, instead of the amplified wave? It, it's tough to use something that's not an amplified wave. I don't even remember what my other spells do at this point. I, I'm sorry, but it's true. Let's just wait for them to come in. Yeah, okay. They're all waiting for their turn to die, which is perfect. Okay, everything got knocked prone. That guy died. We have a chill fog over here being very annoying to my enemies. Uh, let's see if you can shoot this without getting too far in. 
It seems that we can. We got we can debuff them afterwards. You can shoot this guy. Okay, so book book. Awesome. Shoot there. Knock this guy down. Let's go for Phantom Foes. Oh, they're all near death, so not even not even gonna bother with that. Perfection. Swap to your wand and start shooting. Another amplified wave. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I'm very happy with our performance, I got to say. Okay, so he's disoriented. He has a bunch of effects over there, like the second, third, and fourth, which seem to be bugged. Let's just sap. And there we go. So, I dealt 82 damage. It was just a hit. So, this critted and... Oh, no, the, the sap... Wait, I'm confused. No, the sap critted. Okay. And it actually did not deal 81.6. This is together with the... Um, with the burden damage. So 66 peers. Okay. Of course. If secrets whisper here, I shall listen for them. Yeah, you're using the correct ones. Okay. It had sneak attack and death blows. Isis's device points directly at the spot along the cavern wall that looks like this dust thing. No. Oh, maybe that one? Okay. White Adra gems. A handful of polished crystals of White Adra retrieved from a Lagofeth cavern. All are covered in notches and peculiar engravings, though their meaning is unclear. I'm guessing it has to do with the quest because the quest log was updated. An exceptional war bow. A frost ooze. I have no clue what the hell that is. Freeze damage but misses with additional effect. Don't know what she does. She can be stunned. And she has explosive death. All right then. Okay, so let's not get too close to these. Oh, sorry. <gasps> With my backline. Uh, okay, just sapphires. It's not a bad thing to pick up, but I, I always expect something different, like a unique weapon or armor. You, you guys understand. More items over here. Potion of the Latrice Alacrity. Cool. So yeah, my spider senses were tingling for the cavern entrance, but it's not this one. Because there's another very interesting cavern around this area. But we're not going to go there just yet. <laughs> we're going to wait a bit. I don't want to end the run just yet. Okay. We shall continue exploring. A crack deep enough to rival Margren's heated depths. Oh god, man. <laughs> Dudens, why? Maybe it's just my dirty mind interpreting that in a certain way, but... Knowing Dudens, I would not be surprised. Okay, there's a fish person over there. Ooh, so many Sahwagin. Or Sag... Sagin? Sahwagin? I don't remember. Okay, so this would be a cool choke point if I could lure them in this way. Not sure if that's going to happen. And in any case, I might just get stuck myself trying to get out of here. Um, at the same time, man. No, no, no. It's, it's too dangerous to fight over here, I think. Hey. Okay, so <clears throat> we have... A prayer, ready to go. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, not gonna forget something this time. Let's put this over here. Lavaru beyond seek. Okay, he, he he's still in stealth, which is what's important over here. 
We have several Castor Lag of Faith. We have a Redfin. Let's put you over here. And you can go over there and you stay here. I want your shield for the little savior bonus. And let's pull them in. I'm expecting Kana will have to off tank here because it's an open area. So I'm just gonna put him in melee right now. Hey. Okay. Let's slow this down, let's swap for this, stay where you are. And let's queue up our actions here. So I want the prayer. Then buff number one, buff number two. You are gonna buff with Alacrity of Motion and the crit buff. You guys are kind of just waiting. And I can just start shooting. Okay, they're coming in. I can start shooting, I believe. <clears throat> okay. Come on, those blow darts don't do anything, you dumb bitches. <laughs> Let's get Chill Fog over there. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Misclicked, misclicked, misclicked. They're buffing each other with... Champion's Boon? Not sure, I don't like it though. Let's stun one. Okay, so one stun for 10 seconds. Are you guys coming or what? Let me see if I can pull this one. Okay, so they're starting to come over. Um, we have the Chill Fog on top of these, it's even hitting this guy, so they're all blinded, which is awesome. Let's start nuking these guys, they're more tanky, but they're already kind of injured. Actually, they're very injured, what the hell? I think it was my Rogue shot plus the Grieving Mother shot that just hurt them very badly. Uh, let's back up with you, don't stand in front of Kana. And I think I can actually keep him at range. Okay, so you shoot over there, <clears throat> and you debuff them, and then buff them. Okay, you can start shooting them, we have Holy Meditation, cool, shoot that, shoot that. I mean, they can't do much from over there, so they're just gonna die to the Chill Fog. I don't think I care too much about that. Let me just send it there over here and cast the Amplified Wave on him. It's gonna hit everybody. This fight is very much over. Okay. I was expecting a worse outcome. But trust me, these fights are looking easy. But I have nightmares about certain fish people encounters. Oh, there's more over there. I think this is one of them. Hey. Because I very vividly remember a very tough fight on a bridge. Okay, so knock this guy down. He seems to be alone, so we can just do whatever we want to him. Yep. And good night. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, Kana. Piggy. Man, I wonder if my piggy is cold. I don't want him to be cold. They they should add to the game a little a little coat to put on your pets so you can feel a little bit warmer and safer while traversing the white march okay, this is the entrance i believe i mean i can check it out i'm not gonna go in yet oh ghosts or souls that my watcher can see any secret item Come on. Give me something secret. My piggy is hunting for truffles. <laughs> um, it, it seems silly, but he's actually a cool companion to have. The piggy or whoever you prefer, naturally. 
This doesn't have anything written, which is weird. Dude, if there's fish people here, I'm gonna back the hell up. Huh. Okay, so this, this is not the bridge that I thought it was. Or maybe it's a bounty that hasn't spawned yet. I don't know. The crate is empty, though it smells strongly of fish. Oh, this is a bounty, right? Mestla. Yep, it's a bounty. Mestla and her sisters, a band of worshippers of Borath, have been spotted in the wilds that surround Durgan's battery. <coughs> okay. I mean, it's kind of far away, but if I could pull them into the bridge, it would be awesome for me. Ooh, monks. Monks are dangerous. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. I don't think we fought any monks up to this point. Hey. Uh, sh let, let's see if they come all the way over here. I, I, I kind of don't expect them to, but let's see. Okay, so we're gonna run back here. We're gonna start buffing. Okay. And swap. Let me see, there's a paladin, there's a monk, there's a priest. Oh, it's even it's even in the name, okay. If there's only a single monk, I don't really care that much. If there's more, then I will care. Okay, so let's engage over here. This guy is speeding up his attacks. Let's knock him down. Shoot him in the face. They like getting damaged, but we have to do damage. And I think I'm gonna try and blind him. Kinda can shoot, and that's it. Man, he already stunned there. Let me see. He gained a bunch of wounds, naturally. Stunning blow. It grazed. The graze still stuns for 3 seconds, that's kind of amazing. And I hit... For... 62 damage. But it doesn't seem to be a sneak attack or anything like that. I think it was just normal shot. Okay, so he's near death. <laughs> okay. So I'm fine with that. There's a rogue coming in. Who cares? Let's buff some accuracy. Okay, we're back in action. Do this. Oh, he got stuck because he cannot pass through my people to cast a chill fog. So he's effectively not even playing. Okay, knock this bitch down before she buffs his friend. So much okay, there you go. Okay, kill the paladin. Yeah, I th I think I messed this up. <clears throat> yeah, because the other ones aren't coming. Uh, this is what I would say. I, I I would constitute this as cheesing the fight because not all of the. the the party members were here. So, yeah. I mean, I saw three of them coming in. I expected of all of them to come, but... Eh, sorry about that. I don't like incomplete fights, man. Yeah, and there, and there were a bunch more people. The fight would have been a lot more challenging. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> I think I wanted there to tank Mestla. And this wizard I'm going to try and control with my rogue. And that's mostly it. Okay, another monk, another... Uh, Phantom foes, you bitch. Targeting it there. Okay, so let's, let's, <clears throat> let's get this ready here. You buff. You are going to work... Now just stay on her, I think. I don't want the Grieving Mother to move too far off. I'm gonna start with the debuff from Durance. 
So actually, maybe she can move a little bit, yeah. And you can shoot her. Yes. We're gonna get a vigorous defense and try to knock her down. Come on. Cordum, sap. Ah. Phew. Screw you, bitch. 10 seconds. 43 pierce damage. It was a hit, not a crit. Okay. Good to know. I think just my... Oh, Psychic Backlash, okay. I think just my rogue can keep that guy under control. I don't need to use anybody else. And then do that. You actually just shoot this one. So, he's almost buffed up. He is buffed up. We're gonna go for the Chill Fog over there. This bitch is trying to debuff it there. But once this shot goes out... Yeah, I kinda, I kinda knew I shouldn't have gone for her, but... Ah, well. Go for the monk. Chill fog here. They also have... Oh, the cypher. Never mind. So, you blind him. Okay. Well, let's, let's not get too hasty here. Oh my god. It was 109 plus the burden. <laughs> yeah, but, but he's a very lightly armored character. He had 5 damage reduction. Let's not count that as the actual damage here. <laughs> Let's work on this priestess. <laughs> Try and get rid of her. <laughs> and you are gonna toss out some books. Or actually, you can just actually focus on the cipher because he's way in the back. Can I pull him in? No, too far away. Okay. Oi, bitch! It's the monk. It was the monk. I love that skill, but not used on my characters. Okay, so Kana, you're up. Go tank. Okay, we're going back in. Okay, we knocked her down, so we can actually go and grab the attention of these again. No. Uh, God damn it. Engage the monk. The monks can be so annoying, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay, he's engaged and he took a lot of damage from the Grieving Mother, who is now gonna shoot out an amplified wave. This guy got sapped, I'm killing him, and this fight is over. Well. But yeah, it, it would have been a lot more interesting <laughs> if I were able to, you know, have a fight with everybody and... Dude, you're prone twice. Why are you hitting it there? Tell me. Why? <laughs> Does not make sense. Why are you moving? Stop it! God damn it, game. Why do you have to be so buggy? Uh, paralyze. Finish this one off. Okay. And kill. Paralyzed for 10 seconds. Goodbye, Mr. Bounty. Or Miss Bounty. <laughs> okay, so the first bounty was done. I guess... I guess it wasn't... That much less of a fight uh, we killed let me think we killed the monk we killed the rogue and what else a paladin i think before coming over here but well if you're having trouble with this fight and you want to find a way to do it a little bit easier then this works just pull something and run the hell away it's so cheesy now nah, don't do it don't do it just just Quick save and quick load if you need to, to learn the fight, but don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's not cool. We have the Forgotten Tear of the Beloved. It's a unique flail, it's fast. 10% chance to cast Dazing on hit or critical hit. Now, the really cool thing about this here is that it doesn't say once per encounter. And most of them do say that. Dude, this is very cool. 
grants spread against tragedy, one per rest, and also grants suppress affliction, two per rest. Eh, it's a cool thing to have on the offhand. Devotees of Ondra tell stories of a romance with the moons, especially her unrequited, unrequited love for Sen Belafa. Yet, it was Ioni Brath, or Brother, the smaller of the two moons that Ondra pulled into the sea thousands of years ago. And I love this lore. Small fragments of Ioni Brother are believed to exist in some of the more remote places of Iora, lost tokens of the, uh, of Iora, lost tokens of the goddess's passion. Such moon fragments and the crater lakes that often form around them are known as Ondras' Tears. This flail is made with a piece of Ione Brother that was discovered by some of the Pargrunen Dwarven explorers in the White March. Man, they don't make it easy for somebody trying to read this out loud, I tell you that. Okay, I like this. I kinda wanna have this in the offhand for the Grieving Mother. Although, maybe I just prefer the deflection from, from a hatchet. In any case, we got our first bounty done. Oh, a weathered grimoire. Hey, what say you, Mr. Grimoire? You say nothing, you suck. Okay, <laughs> back off. Okay, so you have this fine hatchet and you are coupled with Ayla Brachia. Mm hmm I never really swap. So maybe if I swap, I can have access to... The... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go for this. Her deflection is 65. If I swap, it's 77. 82. Naturally, the hatchet is useful for, for keeping it a little bit more well defended, but this can be useful in certain situations. Or even just to not consume a spell from, from Durance, because it's a level 6 spell. Don't. In the trampled bloody slush around this toppled wagon, you spy tracks leading back south along the path. Okay. We also have a pry bar and we have some right, camping then. supplies. We have an ice troll. Oh, he's patrolling. Okay. Oh, what? Another ice troll. No, it's the same one. These are very resilient. Um, let me see here. I think Durgan's Crossing. There's also a way... Ah, uh, yes. Oh, no. Solve it. Never mind. Never mind. This is a passage leading down. And we have this upper area to explore along with Durgan's battery itself. Or the White Forge building. But yeah, we're near the end of this episode. So I'm going to stop right here. I'm not going to go into another fight that can last very long. Let me just swap you back to this before I forget. Um, so yeah, we're going to end it here. Uh, as always, my friends, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching some Pills of Eternity in the White March DLC. I hope you guys are enjoying the snowy atmosphere of this area. I really like it. I think it's a very well done DLC uh, for a CRPG. Very well done by, by the, the gentleman that created Pills of Eternity. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing if you are not already. There's videos coming out every single day, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Yes? Beep.